Welcome back everyone to Legend of the Gaia. I've been thinking about this game for a few days. Um, but I didn't play it because I wanted to play it earlier, but the fucking people were outside being loud. And then I also got tired. And I've been watching a lot of Pokemon. I'm on like Ash's training to get into the Indigo League right now. Um, but yeah, let's just move on back in. They say we can't climb this mountain, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um... Okay, we can't go that way. And we fell fight the fight! What can we encounter here? What the? Iron Man and... Was that Garnet? Um... Uh... Yeah, let's just... Oh, he doesn't have much spirit. Neither does she. Let's just waste our surprise round. I mean, it's not really a waste. It's quite good, actually. Um, but yeah, how's everyone doing today? Uh, hopefully well. Um, I'm on a day off. It's a bit warm in the room, but you know what? I'll, I'll just brave it. Let's do Cyclone. And do that into Hurricane. Actually, no. Let's, um... Let's see Burning Flare again because I've already kind of forgotten what it looks like. Uh, you... She has something that doesn't have down on it, so we'll use that on that thing. And then you can just do an auto on the Garnet if um, no one happens to not kill it. Which she might not, since these are new enemies. I don't think we've powered up that much. Okay, never mind. We got it. That's good. Very good. I like Von's new sword. Can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty darn good. Gotta kill that Iron Man because he's lost his mind. I, but I don't know if he can see or if he's blind. I, mean, I, just, I don't know his condition. I just know he's dead. So, so I guess I do know his condition. And if you don't understand my reference there, then I'll just go cry in a corner because, well, you know. It's, it, people should just know that reference. Fact! Any road. Um, let's go on this way. Half tempted to use an incense, and by half tempted, I mean I'm gonna use an incense. Cool. Decrease the encounter rate. Um, let's go down here, I suppose. Because I think our level's fine. Oh, yeah! Unholy icon. That sounds. well. A bit unholy. Um, okay, let's see. Penetrate an enemy's defenses. The hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to look it up later. In fact, I'm looking it up right now. Well, that's pretty awesome. What it does is whenever an enemy would blo or does block, it still gets through one fourth of um, the damage. So that's pretty cool. Um, might give it to Vaughn when we do the Muscle Coliseum again. Let's see, which way isn't the right way? Let's try this way. Oh man, this is starting to look like right way material. No, oh. Um. Whoa, I was like, what the hell? Uh, if we go to another screen... Yeah, that... Well, we've gone so far. We'll just backtrack if we need to. Um, what are you? A wonder amulet? Do we already have one of those? I don't remember. Um, there it is. Yeah, we do. It, it, it nullifies all abnormal statuses. Uh, it's empty. Let's see. lost its effectiveness. Let's use another one, because I actually really enjoyed that, just being able to run around. I should really um, invest in some of those, though, yeah? Hmm. Healing berry, okay. If this ends up being like a dead end just for items, I'm going to be thoroughly impressed, uh, because it's so long, but I just, I really doubt it is. This is probably the right way to go. You know how I feel about going the right way first. It's the wrong way. 
Oh, I'll tell you what. It's a good luck bell. So many accessories. What the hell does that do? Um. Are you not an accessory? Um. Good luck bell. There it is. Decreases encounter rate. So it is an accessory and I just somehow missed it, I guess. Um, either or, that's pretty cool. That'll make it easier for us to explore. <sighs> hmm. I mean, I can go for... I can't go forward without exploring, guys. You know this. This is a fact of how video games work. Uh, but what we will do is equip that good luck bell to, I guess, Vaughn for the time being. Uh, we'll put that on. Find the good luck. There it is. And so when the incense wears off, we will still be able to move around somewhat decently. Um, don't know how well it works. But it, we should hopefully notice a decrease in encounter rates. Um, here's for hoping. Hey, everybody. Oh, Neo Bison and Iron Man. Okay. Um. I will do here is spirit with you and you can hurricane kick that's right because she has the thing that decreases the usage by half which is wonderful just wonderful Gosh, that is cool sorry I ran out of ideas to say any uh, ran out of ideas of what to say there but I was off to like the just yawning, as I seem to have just done there. But I really should have had Gala attack the Iron Man. Oh well. Now that's happening, and we all have to feel bad for Noah because she's the best. Um. So what we will do is simply just attack. Uh, we're not going to waste any AP with anybody, and we're just gonna. We're just gonna try to... God damn it. We're just gonna be upset that that happened. Aw, oh, man, that was a bad... I really thought all these things were close to death. I guess that one is now. Come on. Jagged Earth. I guess we're gonna see... Damn, that's a lot of damage. Me no gusta. Uh, hopefully it won't block everything, but in the case that it wants to, we will use Head Splitter just to, uh, I don't know, be fine. That was just a massive bit of unluck, which is funny because we just put the good luck bell on, so it's like, irony. Either or, um, I'm still thoroughly impressed with this game's, uh, not only its weapon changing, but its attire changing for your armor. I think it's just such a wonderful thing that is not seen in enough old games. Hell, it's not seen in a lot of newer games um, either. I mean, certainly there are those where you see it all over the place, like Dark Souls and whatever. Any new thing you put on, it's got a new look to it, which is wonderful. But, I mean, like this type of game, you know, even though this type of game, we're not getting many, well, new ones these days. Uh, turn based are more and more rare, and it makes me, well, more and more sad, because I love a turn based game. Let's use Tornado Flame into Hyper Elbow into a bunch of arms. Uh, you can... We haven't seen Frost Breath for a while. Well, let's transition that into Dolphin Attack. I think I did it right. And we'll just auto and <clears throat> hope everything dies in one round. And cough. I still hear who is the best right there. Well, it blocked a lot, but at least we got, you know, the uh, the arts through. That's, that's good. But, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot to hack it. That's cool that it kind of shatters as it goes. Guillotine. I am black brain. Very nice. Okay, good. Something died. That is fantastic. Okay, so it's not too powerful. It's not bad. 
And why does Gala not have max MP? Huh. I mean, I honestly don't have an answer to that. So that's strange. It's very strange. I just felt like she needed some more AP because it's positive that these guys could take that thing out. And that was not a sound I ever want to hear again, actually. Alright, that blade is getting longer on meta. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. <sighs> Why am I so tired? I've been watching Pokemon today. Like I said, it's a day off, which is uh, always welcome. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Ink? What does ink mean? I don't know. I've never seen that in the game before. Well, let's jump across this water. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those prices rolling. Roll back. Yes, I just sang a little jingle from a Walmart commercial that I've probably not heard since I was 15. So, really, you bag of dicks. Not you, Bucket. Sorry, like, right when I said dicks, my lizard, like, kind of flinched. I guess, uh, I scared her with my sudden outburst. Pretty sure it's not the word dicks that made her jump. I don't think she speaks English. I've tried to teach her, but maybe it's Spanish. Maybe she's like a dog and knows Spanish, but <clears throat> my Spanish can only go so far. Ooh, mushroom iota. That's new. Okay, so we've got a new thing. Um, I want to learn it on Gala. So what we're going to do is tornado flame into a few other attacks. This little lady one. is going to focus on that guy, and then homeboy over here, yes I just call him homeboy, is going to try to finish um, it off, the Iota. Makes me want to say Ayatola, which right away makes me think of Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho? I know I should think of, you know, the Ayatola, but I mean, come on, Chris Jericho is the Ayatola of rock and roll so you know, sorry, give the man the respect he deserves. And if you heard an extra noise, I just hit a cardboard box that's on my desk that is holding the uh, take the delivery food that I ordered in today. I felt like Pad Thai, and so I got some Pad Thai. Dang it, we didn't get it. I don't think he has the ivory book on. I don't think anybody does, so we might equip that and hope for the best. And by that, I mean we will equip that. Well, we'll equip it on uh, Gala only, because I'm, I'm just really not fussed about anyone else getting... Um, magic, I just don't care. Okay, MP, intelligence, let's take this down for now. Where is the black? Or ivory book, not black. Okay, there we go. So Gala is set up to, uh, learn magic. Is this the way we can? No. Is it where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. So how do I get back to where I was? Was it just down? I think so. Fingers crossed, it's the I Iota again. Damn it. Um. Let's see. Spirit, spirit, Ozma, and. I guess we'll just. Damn it, I just made him weaker too, didn't I? But yeah, we might be able to take him out with uh, Vigoro. I th I think it'll do extra damage against them for being Earth, but no promises. Alright, so those two are guarding, so hopefully she or Vaughn gets attacked again. Very good. Uh, just because, well, they defend better. And y'all know what time it is, right? You know what time it is? I can't, like, not do that now. I just feel obligated. Plasma Storm! I almost wanted to do like the Pokemon thing. Vigoro, use Plasma Storm attack! Because I'm. That's pretty good damage, but wow, they didn't die. Um, would have done more damage had we not taken off the. Uh. Intelligence based one, obviously, but oh well. You know what? You got. You get a. You get a chance at this, sir. Oh, cool. I have a. A phone massage. Which is technically true because my phone was on my lap and it buzzed, so it was like a minor massage. Um, I know I shouldn't check it right now, but but I guess I'll, I'll I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I'll 
for spawn later, even though it's the flow line. Um, I'll just be honest with you guys. I have to resort to online approaches to dating because I'm socially awkward and don't know how to meet women IRL. Um, so even though it's not, you know, an ideal place to meet someone that might actually be, you know, in-game material, um, it's worth a shot. And it's better than me not trying it because I'm not going to go, like, to bars to meet women. I'm not going to... Because honestly, that's not, that's not the kind of woman I want to meet. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with someone that likes to hang out at bars, but I don't want to go to bars. I don't drink. <laughs> I, I, I don't like the taste. It's not a moral thing. I'm not like, oh, drinking's wrong. It's a sin. I just think it tastes like shit. I know I'm the minority. Don't worry. Uh, but see, I just... It's just, I'm not comfortable in bars. I feel very out of place because of my lack of drinking. Um, as well as, let's just whoop this thing's ass real quick. Four, you know. So I have to count, because four ups in a row is easy to miss. And um, we'll just auto and hope for the best. Uh, what was saying? Yeah, so I mean, I've tried, you know, plenty of fish. And I actually ended up dating a girl for plenty of fish for a little bit, but she was... That shit insane. So I kind of want to take a break from that. Um, I've gone on, I'm not going to call them dates, I guess I've met up with a few people I've met on uh, both Tinder and Bumble. And some of you know progressed into longer bouts of talking until we figure out, ah, eh, not really working. Ooh, no grew love, fantastic. Um, but I'm not going to just give up. I figure, you know, for the time being, I'll try out Tinder and Bumble. You know, it's, it's very passive. Um, and if something comes up, it's fantastic, and if nothing does, well, I won't be surprised. Because it's fucking Tinder and Bumble. But like I said, if something comes of it, then fantastic, because, um, I'd prefer to not be alone. That'd be great. What's up there? Did we ever go up there? Not yet. Maybe it will be encountered. Oh, wait. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we already did, and, oh, I'm dumb. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's who I got a message from. Someone that I just started talking with last night. We started off by talking about Pokemon, which I think is fantastic. And the fact that I got a response by bringing up Pokemon is a good sign to start with. What did I have here? The intelligence thing. Um, and someone has something. Yeah, there we go. That's what I don't want on. He had the guard chain, I believe. Um... I guess we could give him something different. Wait, I thought she... What does Noah have on then? Oh, I gave her that's right. Okay, okay. So Vaughn, maybe you need to start stealing stuff. You know, I think you need to get the kill for that. So... Let's... Okay, now she's moving. Where are you going? Okay, fine. Hopefully she doesn't poop, because it smells really bad when she does. Um... Shit, what do I want to give him? Oh, that's just... Oh, that's actually quite nice. Let's give him the Guardian Chain back. Uh, where was it? Is that it? No? Defender Chain, sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry for wasting your time. Um, oh yeah, now do you save it. And yes, I use that time off screen to re respond to the message. What the fuck? <gasps> We've seen this in scenes, haven't we? Fuck, Gala, look, the summit. Play the flute to call Soren. D do we know how to play the flute? Bye, Bucket, have fun. There's no miss at the summit. Soren can fly here on their Sarah wings. Vaughn, why don't you play the Soren flute you ha have with you? Vaughn took out the Soren flute. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Vaughn, Gala, look! It's the Soren! The Soren are coming! And they're gonna be pissed. Oh, wait, they did give us a save point. We're gonna have to fight them, aren't we? Whether it's because they're pissed or because we have to prove ourselves of being worthy of their help, I don't know. Luctus, what's going on? We're not Soren. Where did you get that flute? From Grantis. Grantis gave it to us. So, that traitor Grantis gave it to you. That doesn't surprise me. This is the Soren's holy place. You earthbound humans must leave here once. 
No. Come, we are leaving. No. What are you, allies of the mist? Are you protecting the mist? Oh, how dare you! You can't insult the Soren like that! Then you are prepared to fight the mist and its allies? Of course we are! That is why we punished Grantis for helping build the floating ca- What? Many brave Soren have died trying to attack the floating castle. Then we should work together! We're on the same side! We revived the Genesis tree. The mist is gone. Hmm. Now we need the power of the Soren to destroy the mist generator in the floating castle. Yeah, we're willing to go. We just need you to get us there. We'll do the hard part. Just let us in. What, are they talking through their wings? Yes, but still. Alright. I assume they talk like... Gaspacho from Chowder. This is a decision I cannot make on my own. You shall come to our camp and speak with our elder. Is that agreeable? Yeah, yeah, brother. Good. We're going to fly, so hold on tight. If you fall, you die. Yeah, uh, about that. Carry them gently. Gently, do you hear me? I said gently. Yeah, guys, he said gently. Didn't you understand that? Gosh. Like, are they known for being super rough or something? Yep. Wow, I'm fine. This is incredible. Whoa, yeah. And Vaughn's just like, I'm playing protagonist. I'm going to say shit. <laughs> oh, you're going to go into your hidey hole now so it, where it's cool? You can go to bed if you want. Or you're going to go back in your sunspot. That, that works too. Oh, never mind. You're... Are you going to attack my Pop-Tarts? I swear, guys, I'm still paying attention to the game, I promise. Oh, are they going to comment on the destruction of Little Mice? Nope, okay. Thought they would. Oh! That sure is a pretty city. Why is my volume so loud? Okay. I'm good now. I think. Sorry, my Luther's really fun. Like, whenever she moves around, I like to talk to her. She deserves attention, guys. Ooh, a lady, I think. It's a really strange hair that almost resembles rabbit ears. That it flopped over. <sighs> the elder lives in the farthest house. Go speak to him. You're just gonna let me go unattended? Baller, time to steal shit. Just kidding. Grantis was a good man, but he was too trusting. That's why he fell from Zora's deception. Oh, fell for Zora's deception. We heard that down below, and Soul and Boom of the Mist is cleared. Did you do that? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And now you're going to destroy the floating castle? Please be careful. The floating castle is a nest of demons. Ah, uh, many Soren have lost their lives there. Ouch. A little strange that they gave us a save point uh, right here, but hey, that does seem like a good spot for a new episode, so this might be the new episode. If it is, welcome everybody. I don't actually know how the fuck I'm going to edit this yet. It's me, remember? I was the one who carried you here, Noah. Yay! First, let's see if there's anything to snag, because I've not been keeping my promise to Jeff, which was to, uh, you know, inspect things. Do you want to hear about Grantis? Yeah, sure. Lectus and Grantus are sons of Cru Cructus, the Soren Elder. Grantus was the younger brother of Lectus. The two brothers were very close. But then Grantus fell in love with the surface dwelling human. Then Grantus was deceived by an evil person who exploited Grantus' devotion to the one he loved. That cruel deceiver was Zora, queen of the floating castle. She promised Grantus Sarah wings for Kara if he would steal a raw Sarawak from Boomus. Oh, I do remember that. Unwittingly, Grantus helped build the floating castle. We already know this. Then the mist came. When Crectus learned that Grantus was betrayal, he was left with no choice. He took Grant away Grantus' Sarah wings and banished him to the mist in accordance with Soren law. As Grantus' father, as an as Soren elder, it was a painful decision for Crectus. That was a lot more than I needed to know. Um, okay, where's the person? There's only one simple bed here. Do you want to rest? Yeah, I do, actually. Because if I have to get into a fight, I want everyone to have full MP, which 
Gala does not.